Hey everyone, I won another auction on Shop Goodwill. So we're gonna go take a look. in a plastic bag. Ooh, double bag. Look at that. And look at that. Ooh, strawberries. Anybody hungry? <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. Save the bag just in case. Loose stone in there. Okay. All right, let's start with this one. Pretty with the imitation pearls. Looks like it's missing a couple rhinestones. I like that design. It does have a name on there. I wonder if that is rhodium plating. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can read that name. Ah, Marvella. Okay, so Marvella is the name of Monet uh, before they became Monet. I'm not sure what the time period is. Okay, fun. Ooh, wow, that is super fancy. Looks like it's uh, plastic or glass. Let's see. Okay, definitely glass. Maybe stone. It was very uh, cool, cold to the touch. Uh, look at the prong set on the main cabochon in there. Wow, stunning. Okay, let's look at the back. Definitely vintage. Now, if you want to see more pieces like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything coming up. Now, this one's interesting. Oh, no, we lost part of it. <laughs> I like the design, but it's having a rough day. You're having a rough day. Great design. Look at the faceted red stones. I don't know if they're plastic or glass. We haven't checked. It looks like some of the uh, faux pearls that, uh, are missing. Let's look at the back. Could be a pendant or a brooch. There is the hallmark. Or rather manufactured mark. I think it's J-A-S. I'm not sure. They might be plastic. They're very sharp angles, which make me think it's glass, though. Just looking through the loop. Oh, no. There goes another one. Okay, so here is the strawberry we saw earlier. Okay, so this is Sarah Coventry. It Terfari made them as well. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can take a look at that texture. There you go. There's the texture on the front. Okay, cool. Ah, okay. So we have the feather with the modern looking design on there. Ooh, I like the texture on that. Okay, there is a mark. 
Okay, so it says Welks 14K Gold Filled. So what the 14K Gold Filled means is it's not filled with gold. It just means that it's a plate plating process, which is thicker than uh, most plating. Okay, I was trying to show you the hallmark, which is underneath here. Okay, and we'll just use our magnet on it. Okay, it's not magnetic. Okay, so I'll, I'll check it for, see if it's plated. Okay, so this is a fun design. I like these stones, they're prong set with this silver tone, almost looks like pewter. Then if we look at the back, we have the grommets right here. It's definitely vintage with that pin sticking out there. Could be um, 1960s, would have to do a little bit of research. A ring or wreath brooch. Very classic during the 1950s and 60s. Uh, I would want to check and see when this is from. It's more of an oval shape and definitely a different design than I've seen before. It looks like um, an imitation pearl. And then on the back, that's what we have on the back, nothing signed. Wow, this is stunning. Everything is um, prong set. You have the marquise shaped blue stones in the center. And then we have a closed back. Definitely vintage. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah, I love that flower design. I love the open work in here. And then we have, oops. You have that texture on the gold tone and then the rhinestones in the middle. Cool. Now on the back, we have this grommet here holding the different layers together. You can see the different layers. And we have uh, name, which I can't read. Hmm, let's see who that is. Hmm. It says Charel. I'm not familiar with that brand. Hmm. hmm. Great design. Okay. This is beautiful. I love the mushroom design. It makes me think of 1960s. It looks like jade on the top. And then you have the turquoise stones or maybe glass underneath. Ooh, pretty. Let's see, let's look at the back. There's a name. Let's take a closer look at the name. It says SWO.ING. Okay, that's a new one on me. Cool design. So I use a service called List Perfectly, and I would create a single listing. And from that one listing, I could cross post that over to eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Etsy. And Less Perfectly makes it so easy for me to uh, do this. It's really increased my business. Ooh, that's fun. Very sparkly. Vintagey. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look at that one. It's missing a stone. There on the dangle section. This on the inside uh, feels like plastic, maybe glass. Looks like a imitation opal. Love the design. The back looks like a 1960s work with that uh, Y shape. Beautiful. Gosh, I love that one. Okay, cool.
Wow, look at that. Look at the filigree work on that. You see that? And the layers on the flower. And then we go on the back. Definitely vintage. Bar poking out right there. Cool. Just make sure. Okay, I will test that for silver. <laughs> okay, sparkle continues. Sparkle! Yay! Just looking at the back of this, that kind of closure looks like 1980s. Okay, fun. Classic. Okay, so we have a classic bow brooch. Looks like it's missing some of its stones. There's the back. So this may be the smallest one in the whole lot. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. They're all prong set. And then we have, this is a back with a rivet. It makes me think of 1960s. Okay. Ah, this is a very classic 1960s, 1950s uh, atomic starburst, sunburst. We got some glued in and some prong set, and there's the back. And look at that. That's a statement piece. Some mesh work, prong set, Aurora Borealis bead in the center. And then there's the back, no signature on there. Just great piece. And then on the back, it looks, it looks like it might be 80s maybe. I have to do some research. Pretty. Then you have here, this is a ring wreath brooch. You'll see these a lot from the 1950s, 1960s. And there's the back. Cool. Oh, I like this one. Um, so the cabochon feels like glass. And then you have some open work. I'm thinking it's possibly from the 80s, but not 100% sure. Looks like a, a Victorian style piece. Oh, this one fell apart, I think. Oh no, craft lot. Oh, it's so pretty on the front. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cute. Ah, okay, so there are a lot of bow brooches like this, I think from the 1990s. Oh, this one's signed. I will show that to you, it's right here. Let's take a look. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I think it's Gross, uh, G-R-O-S-S-E in Germany, and they made uh, a lot of jewelry and a lot of jewelry for um, some high-end um, people. I think it might have been Dior, but I, I could be wrong about that. And there's the back. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Super happy with that one. Now this one, I believe this is called a Mobius design. It's a continuous circular. It has these beautiful rhinestones. A couple are missing. And then here's the back. Some texture on the back. No signature. Let's just do a little test. Okay, so it is magnetic. Hmm. I don't think it's vintage, but it's very, very pretty. Cool. Ah, okay. So this one has some damage. It's missing something right here. I like the design of it. 
and then it looks to be like uh, 1980s maybe uh, with that closure mm, fun. oh this one's so pretty oh just in time for spring got that pink flower with the rhinestones on there I love the texture on the leaves uh, and then we have that back kind of that y-shaped back looks to be 1960s but I will want to do a little research just to confirm that um, here's the back the stones are closed up and yeah cool ah another flower I love the layers in here and then some of the flower petals are cut out so they're open on the inside here and look at the layering how many layers that is to create that piece in the middle is an aurora borealis stone you can kind of see the blue coming off of the blue and the pink and then on the back we have the grommet just a good indication that it's a quality brooch and the pin bar is sticking out just a little bit this is definitely a vintage piece fabulous wow okay look that is just incredible it's faceted feels like glass marque marquise stones this is the shape of the stone they're all prong set and it's domed so it comes up and around look at the construction on the back it's just a beautiful piece wow now I don't think it's a Juliana uh, just because it doesn't have any uh, puddling anywhere a little bit right here but I don't, I don't think that's what the technique they use the bar is extending but yeah just look at that I haven't cleaned it up yet but because uh, it was just out of the box but it's going to really sparkle once it's cleaned up beautiful beautiful wow and this is our last piece wow that's really gorgeous it's very sculptural look how much it comes off of the um the back here wow beautiful that's the back again the layers the construction to make this piece work wow and then again we have the aurora borealis stones we can, you can see here and here wow, let's just see is this yeah, they do look like glass sometimes they'll have air bubbles in them um but yeah so i am super happy with my pieces i got from goodwill thanks so much for watching if you want to learn more about list perfectly then check out this video if you enjoyed the video then give us a like and then hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.